I mean, our answers at this point are twofold. First is like, what was on the platform? Why were they useful? And then the other is just our ability to track and identify ahead of time. We're, I think on the second one, I have a better idea. I think we have a pretty good sense of when we knew about it and yeah. what was done or not done about it. I think on the, the technical exploitation front, that's an ongoing effort that you get bits and pieces on. But um, I know y'all have been pressuring Arrow. What's your has there ever been talk or consideration of separating them from the Pentagon? Um, I think there's been some talk about whether they'd be appropriately housed somewhere else. The problem is, you know, where would you house it? Yeah. And in the end, so much of these interactions are happening at the military level. That's where the most sensitive sensors are. Those are the, you know, that's where the that's what's interacting with this. And so, um, it's. Uh, I think that's the question. Is now even if you're unhappy with what the Pentagon is doing or the amount of priority they've given it. Who you give it to? Commerce? Yeah. You know, the FAA? I mean, their job is safety. Now. Yeah. So uh, I, there, there are agencies that certainly can contribute to it, but I think the reason why it winds up at the Pentagon is because they're the ones, at the end of the day, responsible for the um, aerospace defense and domain awareness in the United States. What's the status of the David Grush investigation? That's an inspector general process, so we wouldn't have, we would know that the f claims can file, we wouldn't know anything internally until the decision was made. Do you want to hear from him here in the Senate? They heard from him in the House. Well, I know our staff interviewed him, um, and we have those transcripts, but um, so we'll usually let the inspector general process play out first. Yeah. Thank you. No timeline on that? No, uh, I don't, we, we don't control that. Yeah. They're independent. Figured. Thank you, sir. We don't control that, they're independent. in there, or I thought the Inspector General sent that to you guys. He notifies Congress. Yeah. But he's still there's a, but, but their process is separate. So are you guys doing a formal investigation after he sent that to you all? I don't think, we generally don't begin our own process until the Inspector General finishes there. So, uh, someone files a complaint, they have to deem it credible and they have to deem it an urgent concern. Yep. And then they notify Congress of it. Congress is obviously free to talk to the individual and so forth, but um, generally my experience in my time here has been that the Inspector General process runs on its own track, and in most cases the, oh, interesting. the yes. committee doesn't, yeah, because they're an independent Inspector General, so they, they operate on their own track. And um, generally Congress waits for those to work their way through. I don't think it's required by law, but yeah. you know, it's been my experience. Because so I thought they already sent you all a report. No, they only they, the, the only thing they have issued that they have an obligation under the law to notify us of initially is that, like I said, credible and, and a, yeah. it has to be an urgent matter. So that um, alerts you that they're going that, to it. It alerts you that they're undergoing the process, correct. Would you want to hear more from that whistleblower, David Grunsch? I know your staffs are. I mean, potentially, the more we learn about it, but I, I, my preference on that case is to allow it to work through the inspector general process yeah. first. I think they'll have more resources to dedicate to it. And then from that, you know, it'll uncover whether it's testimony yeah. or evidence that we could potentially follow up. So, have you heard of the White House's new UAP interagency team? Do I know who's on it? Or have you heard of it? They have a new one, I guess. Well, Didn't I they have a new one in February? Well, I, yeah, so I think they've stood up a, uh, my understanding is that's more of a trying to comply with the statute that requires the task force to be the yeah. central repository of all report sightings and data. Yeah. So it's all, so my sense is that that's just an administrative effort to streamline yeah. how the reporting breaks through the silos, depending on whether it's the Navy, yeah. the Army, the Department of Energy, whoever comes across some reporting or data, they can re 
question. That's tied to the Chinese Bible. The start of the comment. Yeah, well, right. anything, uh, people always automatically assume that it's something worldly it's yeah. any anomaly that doesn't fit the criteria of what we normally see or expect obviously those balloons they may, maybe not highly sophisticated but yeah. certainly fit the profile of something we norad wasn't on the lookout for right, right. so um, so that that's really what the, the term really is about. It's an anomalous event yep. that doesn't fit the normal profile of an aircraft yep appreciate right. you